Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to make a custom archive layout using Astra Site Builder. All right, so we're here on our blog archive and you can see our couple articles over here and if you scroll down, you can see them with the featured image, the title and the little excerpt down there. But what if we didn't like how this looked like? What if we wanted um, to have a different layout? Well, real easy, let's use Astra Site Builder. Head back over to your dashboard, hover over Astra and click on Site Builder. Okay, so that takes us to the Site Builder catalog archive thing. On the left sidebar, click on Archive since we want to make a new uh, blog archive and hit Create New. Now it's going to take us to the block editor and let's just call this uh, new blog uh, layout. All right, and we can hide that if you wanted to. And we can use some patterns here. And you can just use a, a heading if you wanted to, if you just wanted to type your title. So heading, and then you can say that this is uh, our blog posts, right? But since we have Spectra installed and um, there are some patterns, let's take a look at what we can use here. Okay, we can use that. We can use this. Mm -hmm. Some banners. This one looks good. All right, let's use that. And then we'll call this one our articles. All right. And we can scroll down here and hit the plus icon again, or over here on um, the block inserter, and we can find either a post grid, post timeline, or a post carousel. So let's let's see how this one would look like. Okay, that looks pretty cool, and it's it's automatic that it will display these ones because. Um, with the dynamic content preview, it's, it's previewing these. All right. So I think that looks cool. A real simple one. We just want to put our title over here, a background image, and then our articles are down here. So let's click on display in user conditions to enable it on our site and on the special pages, under special pages, click on blog and posts page and then leave everything else blank. And device visibility, so if you wanted it to be more responsive on mobile or desktop, you can enable it or disable it here. And you can have a different one, of course, for the different devices. Now, now that we're good with that, we can hit on publish. And, and once it's done publishing, we can refresh our blog archive page and see the difference. All right, once that's done loading, Let's take one last look at our stock archive layout and hit refresh. Now you can see that the sidebar has disappeared and we now have a big header heading banner title here that says our articles. And if you scroll down, we no longer have the old school uh, takes up too much space and it's not really cool looking a preview of our first post. And since this is a, a timeline that comes with Spectra free, you can see there's this little animation that goes down and once it hits this, we can see our second post. So if you had, for in instance, a company history with articles for each milestone, this would be a great way of doing it. Just one way. You can use your imagination to see what you can make with this. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm Show this kind of video to other nerds like us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.